welcome to learn from bone teachers today's topic is filariasis disease in previous video we have already discussed about helminthes diseases filariasis it is a very dangerous helminthes disease so what is filariasis it is a disease cause profuse swelling of the legs of the infected person see this image such huge legs so this disease also called elephantiasis since it resembles the elephant leg clinically it has another name lymphatic filariasis the pathogen responsible for this disease is wickeria bancrofti 90% of the infection is by Wickeria bancrofti. Two other species also cause the infection, Brugia malei and Brugia trimore. We mainly focus on Wickeria bancrofti. These worms comes under the phylum Achelmenthes and it is a diagenetic parasite. To complete its life cycle it needs two host the primary host is human where the sexual reproduction takes place and the secondary or the intermediate host is mosquito how we get this infection it is mainly by the bite of female culex mosquito but it is also transmitted by anopheles and ed species of mosquito if you are talking about the life cycle of filarial worms the adult worms that is male and the female worms live inside our lymphatic vessels these worms are viviparous that is giving birth to young ones so after mating the female worm give birth to live larva and the larva called the microfilariae at night the microfilaria move on to the superficial blood vessels so they started to appear in the cutaneous blood under the skin at night time If any mosquito bite this person this microfilaria are picked up by female mosquito inside the mosquito this larva undergo molting molting is the shedding of the exoskeleton and developed into the third stage larva it is the infective larval stage when this mosquito again but say human mosquito injects this infectious larva into human with their saliva and they prefer to live in the lymphatic system about one year the larvae undergo moltings and matures into adult worms adult worms lodge in the lymphatic system and block the movement of lymph it causes the edema or swelling of the lower parts mainly at the legs and the genital area symptoms of filariasis the major symptoms include chronic inflammation of the limbs of affected organs that is usually the lower limbs and genital organ see the image this area started to swell out of control skin around the swollen part started to itch and cause pain at initial stage of this infection the person gets fever nausea and vomiting
prevention of filariasis the best way to prevent this disease to control the vector that is mosquito use mosquito net while sleeping in malaria video we have already discussed how we can control mosquito by using its biological enemies move on to treatment there is no vaccination available for this disease researches are still going but we can use anti parasitic drug such as albendazole it is found very effective if it is used or taken in the early stage so this is all about filariasis disease hope you like the session if you like our class please subscribe our channel and share with your friends thank you for watching